So while we're waiting for printing off on my Cricut cutter, on our Cricut cutter, <clears throat> four copies of LL928 and four copies of LL924. Four copies times two, obviously, because you need two bricks. I just have a good video, make a video about it. So here we go. This is the Cricut cutter. I just cut and paste the LL928, and I mean LL918 and LL924. Uh, a bunch of times and uh this is what i'm doing because a few friends showed interest so i'm printing them off now and uh i'm gonna put some on bricks see how that goes if you want them on bricks let me know if you just want me to mail you the actual sticker and you can do the bricks yourself that's uh perfectly all right by me but i'm gonna make a at least four four sets of each 918 and 924 so that's four times two bricks so that's uh i guess yeah eight bricks i'm gonna do <laughs> I better go down the leg room and get some. So I will talk to you guys soon. So here's me and my white, or white, my blue one by six bin. Uh, so I'm looking for a uh, period piece. Um, one by six is that actually look good. So I'm just looking for, of course you can see that some of these are older and some of these are faded. Um, but I do have some period pieces, like recent. And you can tell by, the, of course, the holes in the bottom of the uh, little tubes in the middle. And I need at least eight of these, but I'm gonna try to grab more. So these ones, of course, are very, very old. You can probably even tell by the uh, logo on the top. Eh, it's not bad. Let's see where the uh, injection is on that side. Yeah, so this is an older one. The injection molds on the side. On these guys, These guys, the injection mold is on, the injection to the mold is on top of the stud. So you can tell that there's an injection mold, uh, injection to the mold right there. So that's two, four, five, six, seven, a few more. Here's one, eight. Grab one just in case it's ugly. Nine, two. I don't, I don't mind losing <laughs> Uh, some one by sixes to this little endeavor of ours. Uh, some friends voiced an interest in getting some of my um, printed. So I think that's enough. So what I want to do is check these is make sure there's not too many beat up ones. Because I would imagine most of these new ones came uh, in sets that came to me. Uh, they didn't come in used lots, but I'm just making sure. And you see that by just looking at you know, the surface, like this one looks a little worn. I don't want any worn bricks for my friends. So anyway, I'm gonna get those, uh, put the, the uh, numbers on them. Talk to you. And basically, you try to peel these off. Let's see if I can do this with one hand and not ruin them. And then whatever's left, the inside. Okay, I'm gonna probably have to put this down because I'm getting towards the end. See if I can get my phone. Drop the phone. <laughs> there we go. Nine, one, eight. Good so far. So it pops up on the ninth. That's good. L. L. At blue. So now I go through, and this is kind of cool. <laughs> um, I put this on top of one of my bins just because I can stay there. <laughs> <laughs> and then what you do is um, on this thing you have to take the little point thing Let's see if I where's my camera there it is and you have to pop out these things so it's just a little bit of an ordeal there you go pops out so this is what I this is what I do and it's hard to do with looking at the camera at the same time so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the camera down uh, and finish all those guys so and then I'm gonna transfer them to the brick so that's the finished product and then uh, we go to the next step. Well, the next step is you can you can get the stuff that you're yeah right from the store from Michaels or whatever craft store you go to that uh, you have to use here. But we just use press and seal from Glad, and basically you scrape it into the letters. So when you peel them back, so the vinyl, that's the letters, uh, stick to this backing, um, some sort of plastic uh, coated paper backing like that. And when you put this press and seal on top and you peel it off, the, 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 the characters stay on the press and seal. And then when you put this on top of a brick, 
you do the scraping again, I'll show you that. And then uh, the other stick uh, come off the press and seal onto the brick. So that's the whole idea. Yeah, the, so the Cricut is a little bit of effort, but it's fun. It, 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 it's, it's, uh, it's crafty. So I will show you that part. So here we are, they're all in their individual uh, 2918s, 2924s on each sheet. Um, I'm debating whether or not I'm gonna just tell these people, uh, my friends who want some, that I can ship it this way and they can use their own bricks. Uh, just by you know cutting them up and peeling them off like the old models and just stick them onto the bricks or uh, I put them on the bricks and ship the bricks this will be a lot cheaper because this just goes into a regular envelope <laughs> with a you know a printed piece of paper saying hey thanks for you know doing this um, or the bricks are gonna be more because then I have to go get some um, bubble envelopes uh, bubble mailers and it'll cost more and blah 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 so I'm gonna upload this video when I'm done and you guys can make uh, your own decisions just drop me a line all the people who've requested this uh, I'll send each of you an email and saying hey just let me know if you want me to mail you this piece this set up here and you can do it yourself or uh, I can put them on bricks but putting on bricks is gonna cost you more <laughs> it really is I have to work out a price and uh, I'll, let, I'll let everybody know what that is well, I'm going to try this again <laughs> because I found out and I, I meant to do it this way, but I didn't actually measure it perfectly. But when I printed them, I print them off in lots of two, um, well, actually four because they were taped together or printed together. Uh, and I tried to leave enough space that if I put two bricks on top of each other, that they would fit perfectly on there. And guess what? It works. And it's easier to drop two onto a, two bricks than it is for me to drop one onto one brick. So. I'm going to show you that but basically you also have to do this so this is very important <laughs> and then uh to take the 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 letters off of the um this is for people who are going to do it themselves um to take the letters off you have to peel the back curl, curl the back which makes the letters want to stay on to the onto the uh, press and seal so the l l there's the l's there and then here comes the second l's because if it's, if it's bent sharply back, like that, then the letters want to stay straight and that, that's where the press and seal is. So, um, and you have to do it very slowly. So if they come up with the, with the backing, you have to go back and do it again. Keep on going back and forth, slowly. And then by the time you get to the end, there's the ones now. And then here comes the eights. I don't think I'm gonna zoom in on this comes the eights so the eights come off so if they stay on the back and go back don't rip it off because then you'll have the, the the letters on here instead of on here which is where you want them <laughs> so uh slow and steady wins the race as my parents used to tell me when i was a kid uh when we used when we had that uh, slot car track so and then you put it down here and you'll get the yellow and you line up the yellow the letters with the top of the bottom of the yellow kind of centered right in between and then I put it right there, like that. And then before you press on, you look at it. Make sure the gap at the top and the gap at the bottom are relatively the same. Uh, you can push a little higher if you want, so the studs do not interfere with the um, with the letters. And then you press them on, like that. And then this comes off. two bricks and they're straight <laughs> which is what you want them to be <laughs> so so I've done a bunch now um, like that now what I should do is I see, see if I can do the spacing for more than two at a time and then the line two fours here so I got all those bricks done which is nice and I'm gonna do the nine two four while I still got you guys on camera and uh, the last one because again the first nine two uh, the nice one eights are screwed up and I'm gonna talk about those uh, it's unfortunate, but um, I realize uh, my mistakes and when I print more off, because I'm gonna obviously print more off because you guys want them. Uh, again, so you, you peel this back, the backing, you kind of peel right at 180 degrees around and there, therefore the numbers and the letters will stick to the press and seal. And you do it very, very slowly because if you go fast, like there, it's like you keep on pressing it down, uh, that will help the letter stay on the press and seal. Uh, the press and seal doesn't have a lot of a uh, lot of adhesion to it because you don't want it to have a lot of adhesion because you want it to come off when you peel it off the brick but it has more adhesion 
to the top of the letters than the bottom of the letters, the back of the letters with the sticky on it does to this thing, if that made any sense at all. <laughs> so, uh, and you go down here, and again, I'm gonna have more space to hold on to it so you can center it without putting your fingers on the back of the letters, because that, that just kind of throws a wrench in the ointment. Uh, that's crooked. So just take your time. There is no rush. There is no person saying get it done now. So you can just keep on moving as long as you don't press on it hard. Because as soon as you go like that, the letters are going to stick onto the brick. <laughs> so you can use your finger if you want. I have this handy dandy spatula uh, pampered chef thing. <laughs> I think it's used for cleaning uh, bowls with all the icing in it. But. Um, that helps me rub that off, and then there we go. And then we got two more L9924s. So there you go. There's that one, and then there's that one. So I'm happy. Um, I, if you, again, if you want the bricks, I'll mail you the bricks. If you want just the stickers and do the bricks yourselves, that's perfectly acceptable too. Uh, this is gonna be more expensive than me just shipping you the stickers, but you can see the work that you need to put into getting the stickers onto the bricks. And it'll be up to you. Now, again, I will say this, and I will be perfectly honest. If you screw it up, I'll mail you another set. <laughs> so so if, you, if, you, if you wanna take the chance that you wanna put the stickers on yourself, uh, me, me turning on my Cricut makes me happy. Anytime I get to use the Cricut, it's a happy day for me. So, um, but I'm gonna ship it to you with the two uh, properly spaced to go on top of two bricks because I found that to be a lot easier than just doing one at a time. I did not set it up to go uh, like this way. So this one and this one are not the same. So you have to break them up <laughs> and do them separately, but I'll leave you enough room to cut around uh, if you just wanna use the stickers and do it yourself. Um, but if you want the bricks, I have to go get some bubble em uh, mailing envelopes um and uh we'll go from there but right now i got uh three sets of 918 that are good and one set that's bad <laughs> and four sets of 924s that are good uh i'm actually this is not a surprise to me i'm actually running out of good new bricks uh so i have a, a whole bunch of um nice one by sixes but they have the solids on the bottom and that that, that is not error specific to this set so, I will go through and I'll probably find maybe a dozen more. So it's not a huge thing. I just have to go through like that. I've already found four more. So you guys let me know. Um, send me a, drop me a DM or whatever it takes you these days. Uh, an email or just reply to this video. And I will work out uh, pricing this week. I will work out uh, getting bubble envelopes this week. And I will work out trying to get them in the mail to you guys this week. So uh, I already have a friend who's mailing me the parts for the 928, which is right over there, uh, which is fantastic. And I'm gonna mail him uh, a set of these, just like that. I'm just gonna mail them to him. And um, if you wanna work on a trade with parts, <laughs> I don't know what parts I need, but if you, if you don't wanna, uh, we can just uh, trade parts. I can send you guys a set like that, and then you can send me whatever parts uh, we work out. So, um, that is not a problem at all. So I got uh, right now three sets of uh, bricks to mail people um, and I can make them work. So there you go, that's it, that's all. I am uh, done uploading videos for today, I hope. And uh, we will talk, I, again, I'm gonna use my standard, I'm gonna try to have a standard sign off because I do, want, I do believe this and I want it to be true. Uh, take care of yourselves, take care of your neighbors, take care of your family, uh, should you uh, have the um, should you have the people that you want to take care of and, um, but absolutely take care of yourselves and, um, I will talk to you soon.